Very good uh, morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It's, it's great for me to be as, as first uh, speaker today after the introduction of, uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, for your introduction. Um, as you uh, are aware that uh, the Vietnam is a bit far away from uh, London, but uh, we have quite a big delegation from Vietnam uh, to attend uh, this conference. Uh, we're very interested in uh, NOC care conference, and every year uh, we have the delegation and speakers to the conference. And uh, I'm uh, CEO of uh, Peter Vietnam uh, ENP as main arm of uh, Peter Vietnam in uh, exploration and production uh, in, in Vietnam and outside Vietnam. So uh, today is uh, I'm uh, talking about uh, the three main things. It's, uh, number one is I want, uh, would like to uh, introduce about our country. Um, it, it, uh, I'm sure that some of you have been in our country. Uh, it's, uh, it's a beautiful country and uh, many things to see and many things you can experience in our country. And if you've uh, never been in our country, then please very much welcome you uh, to uh, visit uh, Vietnam. The secondly, it, uh, I'm have a quick introduction about uh, Peter Vietnam. Uh, Peter Vietnam as a group company and it just uh, many uh, different business. Uh, and uh, Peter Vietnam, ENP, it, uh, it's the main arm of Peter Vietnam uh, on exploration. And that, that's the main topic I'm talking about. And uh, for Peter Vietnam uh, exploration, uh, where we are today and what we're going to do uh, in Vietnam and outside Vietnam, and uh, how can we cooperate with uh, other NOC, IOC uh, to be on the uh, development uh, plan uh, of uh, Vietnam ENP. So uh, as you see that uh, Vietnam is to be uh, in uh, Southeast Asia, and uh, our uh, GDP uh, is bit uh, continue growing uh, in last uh, few years. And uh, of course, to compare to other developing country, uh, we're not yet uh, developed as other uh, developing country, but uh, we keep continue uh, growing uh, as you see uh, on, on, the, on the charts here. And our GDP, uh, Growing about for last year, 2013, it's uh, it's 5.4 percent, and uh, we ha we still have uh, the big investment uh, from uh, foreign uh, investment. Uh, last year is about 21 uh, billion US dollar, and our export uh, last year uh, about 132 billion US dollar. That's uh, mainly on the crude oil. Uh, rice and coffee and uh, fish, uh, uh, fish industry. And our inflation rate, it's, uh, of course, seen quite, quite high to compare to last uh, few years ago. It's 6.4% uh, for the last year, 2013. We hope this year will be uh, a lot lower than, than that. For the, our oil and gas uh, supply and demand, uh, we uh, Right now, uh, the gap is, is, is not big, but uh, by 2020, the gap between the, the supply and demand will be larger. Uh, we, the, the country is keep developing, and uh, the production in Vietnam, especially inside country, it's been uh, declined uh, for uh, last few years, mainly due to one of the, our main field, uh, white tiger field being declined. Uh, it's faster, and uh, we will need to get, uh, as Peter Vietnam, especially Peter Vietnam ENP, we need to do something to fill the gap uh, to make sure that uh, we uh, will continue to uh, help the oil and gas uh, fulfill our obligation with the country uh, for our uh, energy. As, and, and our energy uh, consumption also keep continue uh, raising the gas uh, supply and demand is almost, it, it, uh, it's not much uh, different, but uh, for the oil, it, uh, we have the, the big difference. 
Um, and uh, as respect to Vietnam, we have uh, our first well drilling in Vietnam since uh, 1961. And uh, since then, uh, Petro Vietnam have been uh, estab official establishment since uh, 1977. And uh, we have keep uh, starting to uh, produce oil. And uh, excuse me, it's long so I can get my, sorry, I, I need uh, this file, this is far away for me. So uh, we have uh, our uh, Petro Vietnam two by 2000, last uh, two 2011, it's our 50 uh, Petro Vietnam uh, anniversary. And uh, we've been uh, very uh, development of the country of the Petro Vietnam uh, with the, our first uh, one million ton of production of oil uh, on 1988. I'm sure that it is quite late to compare to many other country, uh, many other NOC uh, you, were, you are uh, present here today. But since then, we have uh, continued uh, development. And uh, by 2006, we have achieved uh, 200 million tons of oil production. And, uh, for Vietnam is what our position in the economics of Vietnam. Um, actually, the Petro Vietnam, it's, uh, which uh, we uh, provide very important part for Vietnam economies. Uh, we contribute about 22 uh, to the GDP of the country. And uh, as you may uh, aware that uh, Vietnam is, we still have very large reserve of oil. Uh, based on some other, some other uh, analysts saying that uh, our crude oil reserve in Asia is, I think, we about third in Asia uh, with about 4.4 uh, billion barrel of oil reserve in, in, in the, the potential. And uh, here is some analysts uh, from PP. Uh, I have saw that from PP on 2013 that at Vietnam, it's, uh, we have highest uh, the 1P oil reserve. And uh, we also uh, have second highest for the gas uh, reserve in Asia Pacific. The, the, what uh, our production today is, uh, Vietnam have been, uh, for as I mentioned earlier, the production have been uh, declined uh, in some of our field. And by today, uh, our production uh, about uh, over <coughs> 543,000 barrel a day uh, oil and gas equivalent with oil about uh, three, nearly 350,000 barrel a day uh, for, the, for the oil. And uh, we have starting with the production of uh, the oil from uh, overseas uh, from 2008 with a small amount and we keep, uh, we now starting uh, bring it up uh, mainly from uh, Russia, uh, from Malaysia and recently we have the, our first oil also from uh, Peru. So uh, that's uh, we, uh, on this uh, conference today, uh, we want to talk also about how we can have more uh, oil production uh, cooperation with the other NOC uh, for the, our future uh, energy needs from, from the country. Um, we also, uh, in Peru Vietnam also, we have uh, the uh, pipeline system. We have with the existing uh, pipeline uh, from Nam Concern, from uh, Camo, it's uh, from PM3, uh, PM3 uh, CEA, uh, and also uh, we have, uh, on the future, we have to continue to build uh, more pipeline uh, in the country uh, for our gas production from our different fields. For downstream, uh, right now we have one uh, 
we have one refinery uh, in operation that's Jung Quat refinery. And uh, we <coughs> in, in construction, we construct uh, the Nghi Sơn refinery with a 10 million ton per year of the refinery. And uh, also uh, another one under uh, feasibility study that uh, Long Sơn with uh, 8 million uh, ton per year. Um, it's uh, the oil and gas in Vietnam also uh, another part is we have the power. Uh, it's also one of the big, very big parts of in Vietnam. And we have the service. Uh, the service, we have uh, the service for drilling. Uh, we have the, all the sub provide the supply boards, all the construction, and many different uh, services related to uh, drilling, related to production, as well as construction of the offshore installation. So that uh, I have talked about the Vietnam and uh, the Peter Vietnam in general. And uh, on the main part today, it's a, I'm the CEO of uh, Peter Vietnam Exploration and Production. And uh, uh, I, I would like to talk uh, about the uh, Peter Vietnam ENP in the international light region, uh, what we, we're going to do. So our main uh, function is that uh, uh, exploration and, and production for Peter Vietnam and for Vietnam. So uh, Peter Vietnam ENP is, is provide the big parts of uh, Peter Vietnam. And uh, our uh, proven reserve up to today about 1.9 uh, billion uh, barrel of oil. And uh, our net production uh, about uh, still small. It's one, one, 115 uh, barrel of oil and gas equivalent and mainly it is oil. And we've been, uh, Peter Vietnam ENP have been uh, present in uh, many countries. Uh, in, uh, we've been in, uh, near here, we've been in uh, uh, Algeria. We've been, that, that's very first, our first project, uh, successful uh, for exploration. And uh, now we are development of the project. Uh, we will get the first oil uh, in Hashima South by the end of this year. Uh, we also in uh, Cuba, we in Venezuela, and uh, in, we in, in Peru, uh, in uh, South Asia, we in uh, most of the country in South Asia, like Laos, Myanmar, uh, Cambodia, Malaysia, Indonesia, and uh, in uh, SNG country, we've been in Uzbekistan, and uh, we also going to have one in, in Kazakhstan. Uh, so, uh, and in Vietnam, uh, we in uh, in 43 uh, project in Vietnam. This map is a bit uh, small, uh, but uh, this uh, this all the we, we in Vietnam we uh, divide into uh, uh, that Beijing, the Kulong Beijing in, in th this area. We have the Nam Concern Beijing in this area, and the Song Hong Beijing in, in this area. And we have the Tư Chính Vũng Mây in this, this area. And uh, we have the, the uh, Malay Thổ Chu is in the part of near the Thailand uh, and, and Malaysia here. So uh, recently you uh, may uh, heard in some of the media that uh, it's one of the big uh, China uh, semi-submersible, uh, namely it's HD uh, 981. Uh, it's, it's been in uh, Vietnam in our block uh, 143 uh, since uh, I think last uh, few weeks. And uh, I believe that it's under the ring right now. Uh, that's super uh, semi submersible with the deep, I think, two uh, DP. And uh, in uh, this, definitely in, in our area, it's within 200 miles of uh, Vietnam water. It's only 119 miles uh, from mainland of Vietnam. And I'm sure that here to China, it's a few thousand miles. Uh, so uh, you may heard about that. And uh, we, uh, right now, in Peter Vietnam, uh, we also uh, try to talk to that uh, belonging to uh, our the another NOC, uh, CNOOC. So uh, we uh, thought that as a as uh, NOC and NOC, especially as the neighbor's country, we should respect each other. 
and uh, because um, as you may, many of you here is experts in uh, oil and gas, and uh, of course before drilling you must have uh, all study and seismic of 2D and 3D uh, before you can uh, actual put the uh, drilling to uh, to the sea. But uh, in, in this case, it's, uh, uh, nothing has been done. So uh, just uh, suddenly uh, chosen that uh, location in our area to, to drill. So uh, I just want to explain, just in case you uh, may heard on last uh, uh, many, uh, many days, that uh, it is, uh, the ridge is come with uh, about nearly 100 of vessels uh, around. So that's, that's a big number of, for the protection. Uh, so uh, Vietnam, we are uh, very uh, peaceful country and we don't uh, really want something happen like this. Uh, so uh, we try to talk in uh, our, between the country and country and NOC and NOC uh, for uh, respect each other's on the, our uh, water. So uh, we, uh, as overseas, as you may have seen that we've been uh, in many many projects and some is success and we also have many not success. And this project we've been uh, pulling out uh, in Indonesia, in uh, Cameroon, in Tunisia, and we have also a project in Cuba, not success. Uh, we have one project in Peru, it's not success, and some in Laos. So, uh, and those projects, uh, we still uh, ongoing. So what we, uh, our plan on the future uh, in Vietnam, uh, we still have quite large area, especially on, on, the, on the deep water. So uh, we will uh, expand uh, uh, to the deep waters and frontier area. Uh, we also uh, focus on uh, current project, but also uh, in Vietnam is many uh, uh, field, it's been uh, declining. So uh, we will uh, have to apply uh, the same in the other country with the EOR and to uh, improve the, the production. So that, that, uh, that's a way forward for uh, Pit Vietnam ENP. And an overseas uh, project, uh, we've been uh, acquiring a uh, few access uh, last few years. So we continue to do that. Uh, as a, for example, last, uh, on 2012, uh, we bought the project in, uh, in Peru on block uh, 39 and block 67. So uh, with the block 67 in Peru, we uh, uh, already have uh, the first oil uh, from last year. Uh, that, that's quite uh, successful uh, project for uh, us in overseas. So uh, we also been uh, working with other uh, company like in Uzbekistan for joy studying and uh, also looking for uh, opportunity to uh, farm in and farm out with uh, some of the project we have and some uh, project from others NOC. So what the challenge uh, from, uh, from company like Peter Vietnam ENP, um, we established uh, for about 25 years, but uh, it's still compared to uh, many other company uh, we uh, still uh, very much behind, and especially this day, uh, ENP is, is much more complex. Uh, the big field is, is, is not, not much left. Uh, it's, we have to challenge with uh, all the new uh, difficulties uh, project, and uh, we will request uh, high, the good skill uh, worker, work skill engineer, and for us, uh, we also have to hire the expert from uh, outside uh, to also working uh, with us. Uh, and of course, like uh, national oil company, uh, we also have obligation uh, to the government for the profit. We have to uh, also contribute to the government and we have to uh, get the resource from uh, the bank, from others for our uh, project development and uh, when we by the excess, we also uh, will have the problem uh, limited on the, our financial resource. And um, also, uh, one of the, I think the, all the company will have the uh, procedure uh, to follow for uh, 
buying the assets overseas or investment overseas. But we also uh, doing this, but also we have to have also follow the government uh, procedure. And sometimes uh, we lose the opportunities because it takes quite a bit of time for that. That's, that's something I think we, we are challenging with this today. And uh, so far, I think that we have the great support from the government uh, for development of the company and expanding the business overseas. Uh, and uh, because our government also understand that uh, that's the only way for the, the company uh, like TV Petro Vietnam ENP and in, in and so Petro Vietnam uh, to develop uh, uh, in the in the future. So uh, we've been cooperate with all uh, many uh, NOC uh, in Southeast Asia and in other parts of uh, the world. And uh, we believe that uh, successful business uh, partnership will give uh, the win, win, win for uh, the, the, our uh, partner in Vietnam and, and outside Vietnam. So, uh, so how we build the, the partnership uh, vision? Uh, it's uh, we uh, I think we share our long-term vision and. Uh, strategy for company development with our partner. And uh, we have a long-term commitment. Uh, we have uh, we trust and, and respect. And uh, of course, very much uh, we're working together and we have to share in the risk as well as, as, as our, uh, we have to commit each other uh, for the long-term uh, development of the, of, the, of the project. So uh, th this one is I just want to share with you the, uh, in this. I'm sure that you uh, have all this information, but what I want to make a comment here that uh, for last uh, few years, the uh, overseas acquisition by the company has been, uh, now it's been a quite a big number for the, for the uh, national uh, oil company. Uh, so, uh, uh, our company also uh, we also follow uh, that way also for the acquisition of the proven reserve and uh, production uh, project outside Vietnam. So what uh, the, our expectation is that uh, we uh, very much want to invite the partner to from others NOC IOC uh, for the farm out farm in opportunity, and uh, we very much commit that uh, we. Uh, in working uh, for the win-win of the, the board uh, partner. And uh, we will also uh, continue to improve our expertise for new challenging of the oil and gas, especially on the EP ENP uh, this day. So finally, it's, uh, we believe that uh, international investment for NOC uh, is it's the only way for um, both of the NOC for development in the long long term. And one of the key approach is to cooperate uh, with the other uh, NOC, it's not only in the region, but also uh, in global scale. And we believe that uh, the confident and mutual uh, benefits relationship uh, will be it's very, very much uh, the main role for cooperation between the NOC. And uh, NOC can push up this course by establishing and building the mutual trust and respect. And of course, we have to look after our, continue to build up our relationship. And uh, we have to uh, get also uh, the same like Vietnam, uh, it's government to government support for the cooperation between NO NOC. So that's uh, all about my presentation, and uh, thank you for your listening to my presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Van Tan. I would like, would like to just turn in. Dr. Van Tan, yes, please do sit down. Um, I just wanted to ask a couple of questions on, on, on your fascinating talk and ex explanation of uh, what Petro
where Vietnam's strategy is and, and where you're going. And you did allude in, in your talk to the recent incident regarding the, 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 the Chinese uh, drilling rig, which has moved into waters which Vietnam regards as its, its territorial area. Um, I was just wondering, um, what, the, what is the solution to this Available? problem? Um, do you regard this as a, a seizure of territory, or, or, does, or is there a possible um, international solution to this debate, which is something that is happening in other parts of the world, as we know that the British government is continually having difficulties with Argentina and the South Atlantic, and we hear of um, disputes between Canada and Denmark over the Arctic. This is obviously a, a problem that may occur in future in other parts of the world. What, what, what would Vietnam's uh, approach to the dealing with such a situation be? Uh, can, I, can I have the slide? Uh, I, I can have show you the slide where the bridge is, is and uh, what, uh, how close to Vietnam, and you may see. Uh, I think I have do, the last do we slide. have that slide yeah. available? Um, it, it, uh, I'm sure that it happened not only with Vietnam, uh, just uh, in uh, our area there is Vietnam. Uh, I'm sure Philippines, I'm not too sure anyone from Philippines been here today. Uh, of course, Brunei and other country nearby there. Uh, we have, we, uh, I'm sure that we will have the, the, the problem with, uh, with that. Uh, Long, can you show me another slide with the, the another one? Do we have a bigger version? No, we have it? another one with the map where and where the location of the bridge. No, not this one. Okay, okay. I, I saw later on they will, uh, they, they will bring that. Uh, um, it's, it's uh, as you know, that uh, our nearby there is Murphy, uh, Astral Mobile on the block 148, 149, and uh, we, have, uh, Mur uh, we have Murphy in uh, just, just nearby there. It's uh, definitely our the Vietnam water, uh, namely in Vietnam called Block 143. And uh, what we have done is that uh, our president and CEO have sent a letter to uh, CNOC, uh, Chairman and President, uh, saying that did you come to my home and did, uh, did this not uh, you cross the border and very much inside uh, our uh, garden and you drew there and that, that's not, not the way. Um, I, I think that... Uh, and did you get a response from CNRC? No, I, I think that everything is keep quiet and we don't receive any, anything from, from China. Uh, I think it could happen to any other country as you mentioned that, but... Uh, we think that uh, as a national oil company, uh, of course, you have to follow instruction from the government. But beside that, as a national oil company, you also have to be responsible for the development of the company. And also, uh, you have to respect other national oil company. Uh, because that's the reason why we're here today on and, uh, as, as National Oil Company Conference uh, to find a way uh, to cooperate and to work together uh, for, for the success of, of the company. So my comment on that is that uh, uh, if the National Oil Company China, CNOOC, uh, should talk to Petro Vietnam for any other way of cooperation instead of, of bringing rich into so our water. Would you offer them a license if they apply for one? Um, I think they never ask. Right, okay. Is, is, would anybody else like to ask Dr. Van Khan a, a question on, on that or any other matter? That uh, before that, I just want to show this, uh, this, this, this map. Uh, um, this uh, this the rich, uh, HD 981, and it's only 119 uh, miles from the Vietnam, this, 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 this Vietnam mainland. 
And this is our 200 uh, mile uh, li line here. So it's also 80 meters across uh, in our wat waters uh, already. So uh, this definitely, here is nearby, we have the, that's one, one block 117, 118, it's uh, Action Mobile, it's here. So it, it nearby here, it's all uh, filled up by other operators already. So th th this one is belong to Bit Vietnam, uh, and uh, they just, just come and uh, locate the, the rig there and, and start the, with, with the drilling operation. Thank you. W would anybody else like to um, ask Dr. Van Tan a question before we um, move on? The gentleman in front, or the gentleman to the uh, hi, uh, this is Mohammed Al Wakil from uh, Penistrin Limited. Uh, my question is about the midstream uh, gas pipelines you mentioned. Uh, how developed, in which stage these pipelines are? Sorry, could you could you? We didn't hear that very well. Sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, the uh, gas pipelines uh, you mentioned in one of the slides. Uh, in which stage they are? How they are progressed? Are they in the done stage or under construction? Um, I think right now uh, our gas, uh, the pipeline called Nam Concern 2, it's, uh, it's under uh, plan for construction. And also uh, we're planning to have more gas pipeline. Uh, for instance, uh, from, uh, from block B of the Chevron to uh, the saw, that also uh, under the plan. And also uh, we have the plan for the pipeline from uh, block uh, in the middle of the country where the Exxon Mobil have been, uh, have very successful discovery of uh, I think 78 uh, TCF of gas uh, in, the, in the block uh, 107, 109. Uh, so we will uh, plan also construct the big pipeline uh, to the mid, mid central of Vietnam uh, for that uh, project. So, uh, and also on the north of Vietnam, uh, right now we are starting uh, with a project in, uh, we call Thái Bình uh, gas project. It's small gas field, but uh, as you may aware that in the north of Vietnam, the uh, not many uh, oil and gas uh, discovery there. So in the north, we have uh, very much source of gas. So we will go into build also the pipeline in the north. The pipeline in the north, I think we have the first gas, uh, uh, probably in uh, 2015 or 2016. And uh, in uh, the central, uh, it's about, I think, 2018, uh, something like that. And uh, also uh, in the uh, Chevron, the Block B project will be about uh, 2018, we have the first gas. So we will building the pipeline system right now. Uh, my name is Javed Iqbal, and I am from Mari Petroleum Company Limited uh, from Pakistan. In your talk, you mentioned about the developing of marginal field. Do you have any specific uh, methodology you will be applying for that, uh, for, the, for developing those uh, marginal uh, fields in Vietnam? Um, in Vietnam, we already uh, have some marginal field uh, development, and we already apply, in, in some field, we already apply uh, EOR for, for that. Very first pilot project, but that, that's the way that uh, now is many co other companies also in Vietnam are starting with the, with the EOR in, in Vietnam. So we believe that uh, uh, as a first pilot project been doing very well, so we believe that uh, many other field will also do uh, UR, uh, the, the way like our one of the block have been, do, have been done right now. Okay, um, I'd like to move on.